So today we have Norman Shu from Royal LePage Signature. How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Pleasure having you here. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to ask you, what does the word home mean to your clients? For my clients, home means more than just a shelter. It's a place where you can live, love, um, and feel safe. It's a comfort zone that you can spend your leisure time in a comfortable way. It's also where the parents raise their kids and share all the sadness and happiness together between each other. Um, I have a client once visited a home uh, that's owned by an old gentleman. It's listed a few days after his wife passed away. Um, when we walk into the room, it's full of pictures of their lives. Their, um, the couple, their dogs, their kids um, are high on all over the place, the pictures of them. Um, the gentleman told us that um, the home served very well for their family. And uh, he assures my client that it will continue to serve as the home for you and your family. Yeah, my, my client was so touched and bought that house um, that very day. Um, it's the most uh, beautiful explanation of home that I've ever heard to my clients and to anyone. Um, home is about love, happiness, and memories. I agree with you completely. Yeah. Um, so why do you say affordable housing is important? Um, affordable housing is important in many perspectives. It's more than just a shelter, and um, a shelter is a very fundamental human rights. It's not a privilege. Um, also, to ensure all the citizens have a place to live is a tough duty for the government and the society, no matter lease or own. Um, status shows that in Canada, uh, people spend um, $3,300 to live in Toronto, mm -hmm. among which almost uh, $2,100 are housing costs. That's roughly two-thirds of the total monthly budget. Um, to many people who are lucky to find a decent job, this is probably not a, too much of a challenge. But for the more vulnerable groups, it can be a bill that's too expensive to pay. Um, I'm glad that the Canada and Ontario government has doing a great job in providing affordable home programs to help people to find a place to stay, um, such as the subsidy rent program, which people can pay about 30% of their um, total family income to find a place to live. This is extremely important for the low income groups. Uh, there's also CMHC programs that uh, allows qualified candidates to pay as low as 5% down payment to own a home. This is important for the young professionals who just started their career, who are rich in income, but uh, relatively short in down payment. Mm -hmm. There's also rent control which helps people who ha are facing rent increase every year to have more stabilities. All these affordable home programs helps Canadians to find a place to stay. To many, this means hope and a bright future. Great words, lovely Thank words. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to ask you, what's the importance of housing uh, and the economy? How does housing affect the economy? How does real estate affect the economy? Okay, uh, in Canada and in many other countries, uh, housing market or real estate is the number one GDP generator for the economy. Um, this creates jobs for people like builders, contractors, lawyers, bankers, um, and also people like me. Um, it's also a very solid tax income source for the government. Canada witnessed uh, population growth for approximately 400,000 each year. And to ensure that all of the growing population has a dwelling to stay. A very healthy uh, housing market is the primary support. Uh, on the other hand, um, a healthy and booming housing market um, creates demand um, for labor and materials. This creates employment and uh, encourage uh, international trade between Canada and the whole world. Um, that also drives and attracts more people to come to Canada as immigrants. I'm proud to be one of them. Um, in a way, housing market um, is a key chain in the economy circle. It's positively related to people's spending. Uh, as home price goes up steadily and healthily, uh, the public's average wealth level also goes up. When people get richer, they tend to spend more. 
and these newly created uh, consumption contributes back to the economic growth. So in short, um, housing market is not only affecting the economy, it's part of it. Great words. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a Thank pleasure you. having you with us today. Thank you. It's also my great pleasure and honor to be here today. Thank you so much. Thank you.